A very warm welcome in. It is our final game of the day here at the Hoopsticks Brown Summer League 2023 semi final. Don't you worry, we do it all again next week. July 16th is our finals day. Make sure you check out hoopsticks.com for all the information on how you can be here live in attendance for free, seeing what is going to be a fabulous, fabulous set of games. We know. Our first finalist in the men's final. It is Glacier Boys. They were pushed all the way. They were taken to overtime by Ankh, who themselves, they had to battle back with about one and a half seconds left in the game to make it into extras. And they did. And unfortunately for Ankh, it was not enough and they will play in the third place playoff. Whereas the Glacier Boys in the final. Hoop Space and TVC. Hoop Space is going to be in the red uniforms on the left of your picture. Last time out, they lost to the OT Boys, 53-58. Bit of an upset, certainly as the OT Boys were already out of playoff contention by that point. But the OT Boys have come on strong and they won earlier today. They took down vet status, 52-51 again, with about a second left in the game. They finally clinched the victory, if it was even that much time. Team Space, we have addressed. They finished uh, second in their pool with a two and one record. TVC, they also, fin uh, sorry, they actually finished one in two. But with a really substantial points difference of 19, they beat Vet Status. It, it came down to TVC versus Vet Status to make it into this matchup, and they did just that. If this is your first time joining us, well, firstly, you're going to want to subscribe to our YouTube. You're going to want to go through the archive, and you're going to want to watch back all the games from today. We have had three games separated by one point, and in a sum total of that, about three seconds worth of court time in all those games for that one point to have made the difference honestly ridiculous so go check that out now a couple of things about who's fixed from some league basketball we in case you've not been with us first 38 minutes the clock stays running and if you are fouled in the act of shooting you will shoot one free throw worth the value of the shot you were attempting if you would take king of three you got whacked on the arm you are going to go to line for one shot, but it's going to be worth three points. If your shot uh, shooting from the elbow, let's just say you get whacked on the elbow, you're going to go to the line, you're going to shoot one, it's going to be worth two points. If your sh shot goes in as you're being fouled, you'll just shoot an and one. That's regulation basketball. Darren Wright for the first time for TBC there in the black uniforms. Shooting to the basket to our right-hand side. Spin in, can't get the shot. Near the target, Cavell Bigby-Williams. That's been turned over, picked up by Martel McLemore. McLemore going inside. Off the glass, no good. Good stand by Dean Wanless, who won that rebound. That's a great drive, kick to the corner. Oliveira in, no good from three. And a big old nudge in the back. We'll see who that was confirmed foul on. Nine with the push. It's Troy McIndoe's first team, first personal. No good on the free throw. That's the call. A travel is the call. Aaron Wright will take it the other way. Or inbound it the other way for TDC. Both sides with healthy benches. Both sides with animated coaches on the sideline. Elliot Dads. Finds McKindo, can't finish. Scoreless early in this one. Olerarin breaks it. Good for two. P. 
Pistore hands off to Alorarin, last year's MVP, of course, Pistore. Being one less. Pulls that from outside. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, on the line. Long two. Four plays, nothing. That's being poked away from Martel McLemore. So clock stays running. Now Bigby Williams makes no mistakes on the long two from top of the key. CDC off the mark for the first time today. Peter Ture sinks it. Again, a long two pointer. Six plays, two. And it does. Finds Caval Big Williams. Foul. Didn't see who officially committed the foul. We'll confirm when we're able. There will be Cavell to the stripe to shoot two. Just short on the two-point attempt. Kicks to Martel McLemore. Goes inside. Met at the rim by Peter Toure. Scores around him. Let's him know all about it. You may have just been able to hear that. Rob Banks saying, now play defense, Black. We're not playing defense. I think oh, rare and very nearly gets it to go. Martel McLemore puts it up. Just off the mark. Aaron Rye, first time we've really seen him today. Pulls down the board. It's going to be a held ball. It's going to go the way of TVC. A timeout has been taken by hoop space if the players are taking a quick breather so will we back in just a moment hoop space prime sunday 2023 brought to you by stan socks and contested.com Welcome back in. Both sides taking the opportunity to talk things over. It's going to be TVC ball. Elliot Dads is trying to send Troy McKindo a bit further away. There he goes. Now he gets the message. There's Dads looking. Gets it to Cavell Big Rooms at the top. Martel McLemore. Three ball. Rattled around on him. Didn't go. Good look. Can't be angry at that. Peter Toure. Still Toure. Guarded by McLemore. Battling his way inside. Can't get the finish. And a good physical display from Toure. Well done McLemore as well for keeping it clean on defence. Cavell Bigby Williams. Had a cutter. Chooses to fade away. McLemore finds McKindo. Just short on the effort. Banks not happy. Three ball, Dean Wanless. Off the mark. Aaron Wright. Fouled on the act of shooting. It'll go. So Black 2 with a foul, that was Hafiz Abdul. It's his first personal. In fact, I think that's his... 
Must have been very quick. That'll be Hafiz's second personal. Dean Wanless also has a foul. Free throw doesn't go. It's still tied at six. And see Shaq Lewis checking in next time by. Hafiz Abdul. Foul by Troy McKindo. The McKindo's second foul. Feast does have two fouls. One foul on, uh, on Dean Wanless and McKindo takes a seat. Shaq Lewis comes for him. I think Shaq was coming for him anyway. He's Victor Olerarin checks out. Patrick Lanapakin comes into the game. No good. Batted away by Cavell Bigby Williams. Hands off to Rye. He'll be playing his playing his trade in the BBL next season. Aaron Rye. Can't go into the hands of Lanapakin. Still tied at six. 308 left in the first. That would have been something very special. Six black with the push. That's Shaq Lewis. And now St. Bernard it was with the attempt. He's Abdul battling through. That's the foul call. I don't know how much of the last couple of games he's seen. Paris letting them play. Offensive foul, 10 black. That is first foul on Cavell Big Williams. Four Per, uh, sorry, 14 fouls, first personal. See, changes coming. Tolera Kiki has had a big tournament so far for Hoop Space. And we're also going to see Gideon Kwesi check it in for Elliot Dads. No good that time from Gray. Peter Toure is on the spot. Robbie Williams not able to send that shot away. We're going to see a change coming for Hoops Place next time. Aaron Ryde kicks it to the break. Off the mark. Jack Lewis gets his own rebound. Can't put it home. Jack Lewis on the third attempt. Still can't go. Ten plays six. Hoops Place in the lead. So nearly a six point advantage. Aaron Rye drives, kicks, crazy. Too strong on the triple. They're really going after the three ball right now, TDC. And it isn't dropping for them. I'll tell her a Kiki. And Peter Toure follows up. Throws it down. Big man jam. 12 plays six. Under a minute left to play in the period. Huge space. In the lead. McLemore gets the shot off. Can't put it down. Teller Kiki with the rebound. Lana Peckin. Good ball movement. 15 to play. TBC defending very passively. Teller Kiki able to get where he wants to go. Not able that time. It's with Kwesi. Puts it up off the glass and good for two. Ends the period on a high. 12 plays eight. Hoop Space in the lead after 10. We'll be back in just a moment. Hoop Space Prime Summer 2023. Brought to you by Stan Socks and Contested.com.
We are back inside the Brixton Rec Centre. 10 minutes to play in the first half. Tarakiki <laughs> sings the triple. Had pretty strong defence, had a hand right in his face. And it could not go. Three balls on the way. No good that time from Ridley Shima. As Lana Peckin off the mark from outside. Jack Lewis driving in, drops it off. Found Cavell big rooms. Cavell rooms couldn't find the basket. Can that time. Hits it from the charge strike. 15 plays, 10. Tolera Kiki. Three balls on the way from Walters. That's off the mark. Aaron Rye, a good box out on St. Bernard. But Peter Toure taking a break. That's crazy, he throws it upstairs and Corvell, Big B Williams throws it down. Alu man jam, 15 plays 12. Aaron Wright called for the foul. For the push. Patrick Lanapakin sits down, Victor, Victor Olorerin. Checks in. Tolerakiki sinks the freebie. 17 plays 12. Ridley Shuna. Foul. One with the push. That's Victor Olorerin. Crazy sits down. Tom Norton into the game for the first time. Aaron Rye collects. What can he do? Oh, he can drive in. He can finish from a tough spot with the right hand. Troy McKindo to check in next time for TVC as well. That's a tough move. From St. Bernard, can go of the timeline. Rye pulls up, picks up, puts it down from three. Tied at 17, five unanswered from Aaron Rye. Victor Olorerin gets to his spot, can't finish. Once the foul doesn't come, he takes out some spectators on the way. Aaron Rye, selfless. Three ball just off the mark. Big for Williams. Foul going up. Dean Wanless collects his second personal. And who is McKindo going to come for? I wonder if it's Cavell. Big for Williams. In fact, it's Shaq Lewis. Also in. Peter Toure and Hafiz Abdul. To the bench is St. Bernard. And Shaquille Walters. No good. From Big B Williams. Dollar Kiki. Puts it up. No good. From outside. Good ball movement. 
Becky Williams to the strike. Can't hit. Aaron Rye. Dumped it down low. Dom Norton. Forced to retreat. Finds Becky Williams. They've got to shoot it. Troy McKindo short on the attempt. Dom Norton flew in. Not able to get it. Ola Rarin. Just the shot away. No foul. Tied 17-17. Big room sends it inside. Foul is called against number 11. That's Peter Toure. First personal. Fourth team foul. going to be one shot coming up from Ridley Sheena. Oh, somebody stepped in. He's a lucky boy. He'll get it again. Nope. I stand corrected. And sideline ball for one less. Under four minutes to play in the second period. Tolerakiki guarded the all the way up the floor by Norton. Abdul. Can't go. Aaron Wright. Still Aaron Wright. Showing the handles. Kicks into the corner. Norton. Just short on the three ball attempt. Tolerakiki in space. Denied by the rim. No mistake there from Victor Alarerin. Finish and contact. Foul is called. And Alarerin to the stripe to shoot the and one. 19 plays 17. Martel McLemore back into the game. Ridley Shima to the bench played his basketball in the States last year Shima Olerarin drops it down 20's up for whom space yeah, 20 plays 17 McKindo finds Aaron Rye. Loses the handle. Okiki puts it home. McLemore held off getting ahead of him to close the lane. He wanted to go for the block. McLemore, though, can't be criticised at all going the other way and scoring like he just did. If he's Abdul. Can't get it to go. That's a blinding pass from Victor Oliveira, and he comes to steal wise ball. Can't get it. Down low, Kevell Big Williams kicks it back to Aaron Rice. Step back, three balls on the way, short. Out of play. It's going to go the way of oh, Hoops Face. 22 plays 19. Elliot Dads checks in. Who is he coming for? Dom Norton. He picks up the assignment. Tola Rikiki. Aaron Rye will have Patrick, uh, Jordan Gray to deal with. Five seconds to shoot it. One less off the mark. Rafis Abdul makes no mistakes. Once the foul call is not coming his way. 24 plays 19, under half a second to play. In the first half of this second semi-final. Oh, McLemore. Oh, doing everything. Makes his way to the rack. Puts it home. It's a three-point game. Oh, 
That's great defense by Aaron Wright as Tolerakiki drive into the basket. Has it poked away? And that's going to do it for the end of the first half. Keeps place up 24 21 over TVC. We'll be back in a couple of minutes' time. Don't go anywhere. Peace, Fix. Pro Am Summit 2023, our final game of the day. We'll be back after this. And remember, we're brought to you by Stan Socks and Contested.com. Welcome back in to the Brixton Recreation Centre, Hoop 6 Prime Summer League 2023. It is our second men's semi-final, our final game of the day. Heat Space in the red uniform, taking on TVC in the black uniforms. A reminder, is it the final reminder I'm going to give you today? It might be, it might not be. You can be here next week for our finals day. Six of July and how can you be so lucky as to be here watching international calibre players players who represent their country players who play all over the world play all over this country play their trade in college and our junior programs how do you see all of that talent and all of these thank frankly today has been the best day we have had so far I think I'm okay in saying that of either season of the Prime Summer League, three games decided by a point and decided in the final, we'll, we'll call it generously, two seconds of each game, but I think it was even less than that. How can you see that? Well, you can see it for absolutely free. All details, hoopsfix.com, your place to go. TVC, yeah. trying to battle back. That took a touch on the way through. No, it did not, apparently. I can't tell you which hoop space player I thought touched it, but I definitely think it did come off a touch anyway. Hoop space looking to extend their lead. They don't want to be part of this tension, this drama that we've seen, including an overtime finish and game settled at the charity stripe. 
Aaron Wright. Forced out of bounds. Clock stays running, remember, until the final two minutes of the final period. 24 plays 21. Dean Wanless plays it down low, gets it back at the top. Three balls on the way. Dean Wanless sinks the triple. He doesn't do it all that often, but when he wants to, he can make it rain from outside. Troy McKindle trying to get back some of that six point lead. No good. Victor Larrin throwing things down. Wanted her feast. Abdul to put up the triple. Arguably a better outcome. Elliot Dabbs picks up the foul. First team, first personal. It's going to send Hafiz Abdul to the stripe. Second personal, in fact, on Elliot Dabbs. And it goes just. So eight points of difference. 29 plays 21. Elliot Dabbs over the timeline. McLemore. Can't get it to go. Into the hands of Olerarin. Oh, that's money from outside. Hafiz Abdul sings the triple. And it's slipping away from TDC. Yes, there's plenty of time. But how often have we seen a team give up a big lead today? So it's going to be one shot. It's going to be worth two after that foul. Cavell Bigby-Williams. Ladies basketball in Venezuela, first league last season, Eros de Falcon, previously played in the G League for the Fort Wayne Madans, the season previous. So G League talent, we can add that to our list of what you get to see when you come to the Hugh Six Prime Summer League. Don't know why he's rolled, uh, actually no, to be fair, he's rolled it because the shot clock won't start until it's in the hand, even though the game clock keeps on ticking. 32 plays, 23. Fis Abdul battling inside, gets where he wants to go, does what he wants to do. Basket's good, draws the foul on Cavell Bigby-Williams. That's Bigby-Williams. Well, I already held him down for a foul earlier, but we're going to see the one go up. First personal, second team foul. Fis Abdul, inspired form so far. That takes him to 12 points so far in the contest. 35 plays 23. Shaq Lewis. Not quite from outside. Victor Olerarin. It's on the Jets. Drops off inside to Peter Toure. Aaron Rye battling through. Can't finish. That's going to be held. It is. Jump ball. And it's going to go the way of TVC. 5-10 left in the third. 35 plays 23. Pretty simple stuff right now. TVC, they need a make right now. They need a couple of stops. Moving forward. Okay, it's Hoops Fix Ball. Uh, Hoops Space Ball, sorry. Gray. Gets to his spot, puts it up, puts it down. Very favourable bounce.
Good play inside. Shaq Lewis good for two. No foul, no call. Just points. 35, 37 plays 25. Need a stop. Gray gets to where he wants to go. Can finish. TBC. Gets to get it to within 10 right now. Driving in. Dunks off to Bigby Williams. He's fouled. Was number four. Brian Akanmu. Hoop space. Take time. I want to talk things over. They're up. 37 25. And also, they're the first team. I don't know if it was caught by our, our camera operator. And a huge thanks to everybody who makes this. The event that they do. Everybody behind the scenes that make this tick. I want to say massive thanks to them. Without them, we can't bring it to you. Anyway, I don't know if you saw, but Joel Ofele actually took his players away from the court, away from all this heat and hubbub and the fans. Maybe to, all the way to the locker room, but I think probably just out to the, to the courtyard maybe. Just to talk things through the half-time break. It's, uh, it's worked wonders so far. And so they've really extended their lead. Currently up in the period, 13 to 4. The TBC with an opportunity. The GB International, Cavell Bigby Williams chip away at that, he can't finish and Peter Toure, last year's MVP of this tournament, pulls it down hands off to Patrick Lanapeckin gets to the top what about the three, doesn't go for it Gray, good ball movement Ola Rerin oh my, what that could and sh would have been I can't say should because that was quite an audacious effort, Aaron Ryan out Batting him down. Puts up the triple. Puts down the triple. Elliot Dads. 37 plays 28. TBC just needs to keep chipping away. They're not going to win this game in a moment. They're not going to eradicate that deficit in a moment. Can move. Kicks to Olerarin. Olerarin has it taken off his hand by Aaron Rye. Last touch by Aaron Rye. Six seconds to shoot. Six seconds to shoot. Ture. Denied the first look. Puts it up just in the nick of time. It must have been. Gets it back though. That's in away. Clean defense. Very well done. Now they got to get up the floor, TBC. Shima tries to hand off to Aaron Rye. It stays with TBC ball. Last touch by Patrick Lanapeckin. Doesn't use the screen. Kicks it. Three balls on the way. Shaq Lewis just short. It's into the hands of Peter Ture. Leaders nine points for hoop space. Again, TBC. They need a stop. They made heavy work off the last time up the floor. But they did just enough. As Hafiz Abdul checks in. Who sits down? It is Brian Akanmu. Puts up the triple. Oh, sorry, puts up the mid range jumper. That's wishful thinking for me. Thinking he was going to dribble all the way out. And it does. Trying to back his man down. Finds Shaq Lewis. Travel is the call. You know the line. I'm going to save it for next week. It's a big occasion. Finals day. 16th of July. Get your tickets now. Hoopspix.com. Absolutely free. Also, make sure you follow us across all the social media platforms. 
55 seconds left in the third, and that's going to do very nicely for Hafiz Abdul. Puts it down. Again, he wanted the call. He wanted the foul call. It didn't come his way. And it's not bothering either side, really. They're playing through it. Oh, my. Rice somehow still has it. Gets the shot away, and the second attempt is good for two. Through a lot of red jerseys. Jordan Gray, I think, had the ball in and out of Aaron Rice's hands. Hafiz Abdul on the outside. He's been immense so far. Puts up a triple. A little bit too strong. Six seconds. They're going to go quick. Elliot Dad's over the timeline. Three seconds to shoot it. It's it. And the shot goes. Oh, the shot doesn't go. So we'll see what the call is. Because initially, the lead official gave the basket. But the trail ref is saying, I had the call. That's my call. Better angle to it. So we'll see what happens. Says Al Ask. So conversation as it stands, 39 plays 30 at the end of the third. So no basket. No foul, I'm guessing. I don't think that was an issue. So the buzzer went ahead of him getting the shot away. 39 plays 30. So nine points the difference. We're about to head into the fourth period of play. Shake Sheriff it was, trying to get the shot away. Elliot Dads playing with urgency, finishing well. Put shot in the paint. Good for two more. That's the start that TVC need. Peace Abdul has it stolen. Shake Sheriff drops it off to Aaron Rye. That's good stuff from TVC. Battling back, chipping away. 39, place 34. One list. Passing with Shake Sheriff. Very physical. Black eight. Called for the hold. So foul was on the floor. So who's space to inbound? Olerin. One less. He's been hitting from outside. Or I think in one case, tell on the line. As Aaron Rye drives it. Finds Shake Sheriff. Off the mark from outside. Cabell Big Bruins pulls it down. Had it stripped. Ola Rarin. Has the runner ahead of him. Jordan. Great. It is. Good ball movement. One less. Steps into the triple again. Off the mark this time. Oh, nice pass. Finds Shima. Good defense by Wanless. So TVC, they're getting their opportunities, but they're not making all of it that they can. Wanless from the mid-range. That one goes down. 41. Base 34. Aaron Wright. Battle his way inside. Hafiz Abdul, it is a judge to have committed the foul. So it's going to be one shot for two. That's Hafiz Abdul's fourth personal. Uh, just the first team foul. There's two changes coming. Tola Rikiki is going to check in for Hafiz Abdul, giving up a bit of size, gaining a lot of speed, I think it's fair to say. Sheikh Sheriff sits as well. He was replaced by... 
as Aaron Rai can't go from the stripe. He was replaced by Shima. It turns out. Oh, that's good from Peter Turi. Patient play. And all of that good work from TBC undone in the space of moments. Caval Bigby Williams puts up the triple. A bit too strong. Into the hands of Tolera Kiki. Olorarin. Bringing it up the floor. It's going to be picked up by Elliot Dads. They switch everything. That's great defense. McLemore. Aaron Rye. Has it straight. That's all ball. Olorarin. And a timeout has been taken by TVC. As the players are taking a breather, if you don't mind, we're going to take one too. Back in just a moment, Heathstrix Pro and Summer League 2023, brought to you by Stan Socks and Contested.com. Welcome back in to Brixton. We're in the rec centre in the heart of London. Our final game of the day. Our final semi-final of semi-finals week. Hoops Fix Prime Summer League 2023. Hoops Space are up 43-34 over TVC. With six and a half minutes of action left in the contest. Three balls on the way. Martel McLemore too strong. Val Bigby Williams got the rebound. That'll be rebound number nine for Bigby Williams. Let's go along with his eight points. Aaron Rye leads his side in scoring with 11. Elliot Dads. No good on the lefty hook shot from inside the painted area. McLemore. Finds Rye on the wing. Rye cutting in baseline. Foul. Shoom, that's going to go on Tolera Kiki. The way he's... Arguing, it is. Foul was on the floor, so no opportunity for a two-point play. Kicks to the top, good ball movement, McLemore. Excellent defense initially. He was able to get where he wanted to go, was not able to finish. Olerarin. That's it, up the floor for his face. Three balls on the way, one hits. Oh, he's halfway down. 4-1 list. TBC desperately need a bucket. We're nearing five minutes to play in the game. Got big Williams doesn't get it on the first time. Gets it the second. Going to go to the line for the and one. Forty-three plays thirty-six. Two changes coming. Gideon Quasi checking in for Elliot Dads. And Saint Bernard in for Peter Toure. So three-point play goes. Just six points the gap now. Feels an awful lot more manageable. Oh, not when Victor Olerarin is able to do that. It's not. Back to eight, just like that. Aaron Wright, thought about the three. McLemore kicks it onto the corner, gets it back up the top. Driving in. Can't get the finger roll to go. But Big B Williams is headed to the stripe.
going to be one shot. It's going to be worth two. Time ticking away. That's going to become a real factor for TBC before too long. Remember, the last two minutes of the game, clock does stop. Gets the two. 45-39. Six points the difference once again. Tuller, Kiki driving in. Throws it away. Solid defense. Aaron Wright is going to have a Kiki with him all the way at the floor. And Wright puts on the Jets, gets to where he wants to go in the paint. Count it for two more. And time has been taken by Hoop Space. The four point ball game all of a sudden. 45 plays 41, 256 left. In the fourth, let's take a look at the stats leaders in the game so far. Hafiz Abdul leads all scorers, he's got 14. Followed by, for TDC, Aaron Ryan, Cavell Bigby Williams, both 13 apiece. Cavell Bigby Williams having a dominant day. 13 points to go with 11 rebounds total. Pete Torre battling on the boards. Well for his hoop space outfit. He's got 10 rebounds to go with his 8 points. Big Olerarian, 7 points in the contest, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Leads his side in that particular category. Aaron Rye has 3 assists to go along with his 5 boards and 13 points. TBC not shooting the highest percentage you've ever seen. 33% from the field. Hoop space not much better. One, ma one more made shot. Neither side nailing them from outside. 45 plays 41. Under three minutes to play. Remember when that clock hits two, the clock is going to stop as it ought to. One list does a great job keeping alive, only as far as Aaron Rye. Thought about the three. Crazy. Out of play. No, in fact. Into the hands of Hoop Space. Olerarian kicks it up the floor. One list puts it home. I believe they call that one the cherry picker offense. That's out of the hands of McLemore. Hoop Space with the ball. Substitution coming. And the clock hits to. Crazy checks out of the game, replaced by Elliot Dads. The gap back up to six. 47 plays 41. Two minutes left in the game. TBC, no foul, well, one foul conceded. Well, a rare in, can't get it to go. A key key though. After that rebound from NL St. Bernard. Key key. Strong to get to the basket and able to finish Aaron Wright. He's fouled by a Kiki. That's big because that's going to send him straight to the charity stripe. Team fouls. Now Aaron Wright, he's got to take the two free throws. It's not just one for two. Bit of a double edged one, really. If you're hitting both, great. If you only hit one, well, you got one point. He's hit one. Forty-seven plays forty-three as he gets them both. One twenty-five to play. So it's a two-possession game still. TBC def desperately need to stop. They need a clean stop. Oh my! Saint Bernard went to put a poster on him. Denied. And he goes again this time, finishing through contact off the glass. Six point gap once again. Under a minute to play, Aaron Rye, pump fakes, puts it up the second time, no good, into the hands. 
Jalo Kiki told to take time. The clock is in their favour. The score is in their favour. Hoop space. Aaron Rye. Jump ball. Where does it go? Stays with hoop space. Substitution has been cancelled. I think. Yep, substitution has been cancelled. Bit of a confusing moment there. We all thought for the world Hafiz Abdul was going to come in. Right, six points the difference. 36.4, the team in possession. They have the lead. Oh, played off Mata. Macklemore! Victor Oloraren! Oh, my! Throws it down. As fine a basket as you can hope to in any game. It's Hollerarin. As Wanless has them off their feet. Play of the game. Uh, Mike in the arena's just called it. Play of the summer, more like. Twenty seconds to play. Kiki takes it over the timeline. Are they going to dribble it out, or is he going to go for something? Fans are applauding. Kiki puts up the triple. That's off the mark. It doesn't matter in the least. Hoop Space are headed to the final. They take the semi-final. 51-43 over TVC. That's our bracket filled in. We know who will be playing next week's final. It will be the Glacier Boys taking on Hoops Space. And in the third place match, it will be Ankh versus TVC. Let's quickly, before we wrap up for the day, Take one last look at our stat leaders for the game. The goal scorer is Aaron Rye of TVC. He had 15 points to go along with seven rebounds, three assists. He actually led all in the assist. Hafiz Abdul had 14 points, leading the way for Hoop Space. 14 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Olerarin and Dean Wallace both had nine points. I think they wanted one this over the hump with a double. Big uh, scoring. Val Big Williams had 13 points. In the contest, Victor Oloraren led the way in assists. If you're wondering in his face, he had two. That's going to do it for this one. A reminder for the final time if you want to be here on our finals day, July 16th, tickets available now for free on hoopsfix.com. This has been the Hoopsfix Prime Summer League 2023 semi-finals live from the Brixton Recreation Centre and brought to you by Stance Stocks and Contested.com. For one last time, we're going to see you next week. It's the finals and they're coming up in seven days' time.